What's kind of the keys, in your opinion, to, to slowing down and you know, containing Texas A&M with their speed? I just think, you know, we just be locked in and be more consistent with our technique, and we'll be just fine. Speaking of the technique, I mean, every every offensive line scheme is a little bit different. I mean, how does that change week to week? Is there ever any carryover? Uh, not really. You know, we just got to get our eyes in the right right, uh, right uh, spot and our feet in the right place, so we'll be for too right. Some of the A&M's line has had some issues. Have you seen any potential places to exploit them so far? Um, I feel like they're, they're a good experience team. I'm going to see how I come with it. That's how I feel about it. You had one of your better games this past weekend. How much did that help your confidence moving forward? Uh, it built up a lot. Uh, just like last season, you know, I started a little late. But um, it's just, it built my confidence up a little bit a lot because I'm ready for, like, this game and so on and so on and so on. So it's going to be uh, real special for me. You know, we didn't get to see the last couple of weeks, I guess, of preseason practice. But in camp, it seemed like you guys had a different rotation before Romany went out. And even in games, you saw different looks again this week with two down linemen. And is, it, is that, not to give away the game plan, but is that rotation and that alignment with the D line and who goes where just depending on each game? Uh, I think it depends on how we do it practice or what type of scheme our coaches will line up in and see how we can do it with each spot. Speaking of practice, how, how has practice been this week? What's been kind of the mood and message in practice? Physical, flying around, just get to the ball. Did you watch any of the Arkansas A&M game? Oh, yeah, yes, I did. It was pretty uh, physical down in the trenches, so that's how we're coming to A-game. Obviously, you got your brother on the team now. Uh, I'm sure you're probably one of his biggest critics. What have you seen from him Ooh. in practice? Not just from me, but from everybody. You know, they see that he's uh, real fast. Uh, he'll come up, he gonna be great on down the road, and they always tell me, like, oh, he's going to be better than you, and I tell them I hope so. You know, he, he got that speed on him. Was there a moment that <clears throat> when you guys were in high school that, that Y'all could vision this playing on the same as the Oh, yeah, when um was playing Clint. And I was on the other end, I saw him on the other end. And I was like, oh, yeah. And as he was getting recruited, I told him, you know, hey, you don't have to follow my footsteps, but if you come here, it'll be great. And y'all are playing what now? Uh, we were playing Clint High School. I got you. Yeah, that's when he first started to play beside me. So. Gotcha. How much did he you pick your brain after practice about the defense? Nah, actually, you no, know, we both are like self learners. You know, if we really go to somebody or go to each other for real help, we'll do that. But we more of our, we do it ourselves. Another freshman starting to get some playing time too. Travion Williams played a lot more this past Saturday. Just your thoughts on him? Oh, they got big, uh, fast, strong. But he just don't know his full potential yet. You know, he's still young, but he's coming along. Just what's kind of the, the message you try to give those young guys as they're, you know, maybe not getting as many snaps as they would hope for, but, you know, as it kind of builds and they build experience, what can you kind of relay from being in their shoes? Keep going, stay focused, don't let it discourage you because I know how they can be coming in from high school being a big dog to coming to college being the other dog. So I tell them just keep going and keep learning. Just how different do these SEC games feel than non conference games? Just within the atmosphere or yeah, just, just the atmosphere and like, oh, what it's yeah. like to play them? I kind of knew, like, I told them, I said, this ain't going to be a uh, bowling play bowling green. I said, this is not going to be the one that a lot of fans come to, but I guarantee you this, this stretch on from, from here on now is going to be crazy, you know, with the atmosphere, the cowbells, and everything like that. So, ready.